top 10 parks in Summerlin. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Angela's sidekick, Damian Barton. And welcome to my Summerlin series. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And most importantly, if you are thinking about relocating to Summerlin, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. So let's roll, folks. <laughs> um, there is no community in Southern Nevada with more parks than Summerlin, with over 300 parks of all sizes and type, including 30 regional parks. In fact, every Summerlin village is centered around a large community park or open space, while each of the community's neighborhoods is required to have its own smaller parks. Reflective of the planning requirement, which dedicates significant acreage to open space, parks, trails, and recreational use. The community's nearly two dozen major community parks range from five to 20 acres and feature an impressive variety of recreational amenities, including 16 tennis courts, eight pickleball courts, 14 baseball and softball t-ball fields, 11 basketball courts, seven soccer fields, three sand uh, volleyball courts, uh, community centers and pools, a football field, outdoor roller skating rink, and several interactive water play structures and shaded picnic areas as well. As you know, in the past, I have done the top 10 parks in Summerlin, and recently things have changed, and, you know, I think there's other parks that are better than others. You know, obviously all the parks in Summerlin are fantastic, but the reason why we selected these parks is because the sheer amenities that they had to offer. Some of the parks in Summerlin are much smaller and didn't have much amenities. So that's why these are on our top 10 list. With Summerlin offering so many unique parks, let's head over to our first park on our list, Fox Hill Park. Yeah, and Fox Hill Park is an 18-acre park located in the Paseos Village and is part of Summerlin West at 231 Antelope Ridge Drive, adjacent to an elementary school. And the park opened in December of 2018, so it is a newer park. The Adventure Play theme park offers 20 play structures, including a 32-foot climbing tower, two zip lines, embankment slides, a giant climbing structure called the Orange Beast, custom swings, a climbing fort, and a spinning machine. There are also four covered picnic ramadas, as well as an 18-hole disc golf course. Most holes in this course are 130 to 150 feet, beginner-friendly, moderate elevation, and scenic views. The disc golf is super fun if you're into that. Yeah, and so what also started this whole parks in Summerlin was that we got drones. Ah, the drones. And we became <laughs> dronies, and I really love the drone footage of all these parks so much fun. and the aerial view of it and where they're located. So as I was talking, I'm sure I showcased a lot of that drone footage. So that's what spurred um, this video to redo again is uh, to showcase you just how beautiful Summerlin is and the amenities that Summerlin has.
So the next park that is number two on our list is the Willows Park and Pool. Yes, and the Willows Park and Pool is a 12.7 acre park located in the Willows Village. And this is part of Summerlin South, and it's located at 2775 Desert Marigold Lane. Now this park features multi-sports facilities with two lighted softball fields, a lighted full-size basketball court with three hoops and a children's play structure, as well as a linear park, which meanders through the village and includes another children's play area and trail. The Willis Park is home to a resident-only swimming pool that features a beach-style entrance, two water slides, and a fountain, as well as the Willows Community Center that hosts a variety of classes and programs for residents. The Willows Park also hosts practices for Summerlin South Little League softball division teams and younger baseball division teams. Because it has two softball style fields with dirt infields and is fully lighted for night practices, the fields have no pitching mounds, fixed bases, or outfield fences. Now third on our list, let's head over to the Vistas Park and Pool. And the Vistas Park and Pool is a 24 acre park located in the Vistas Village and is part of Summerlin West at 11311 Alta Drive. This park is home to Summerlin's first lighted football field, two lighted softball fields with a concession building, two lighted tennis courts, a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, two children's play areas, a group picnic pavilions and community restrooms. The Vistas Park is home to the third resident only swimming pool that features a large slide, a child's lagoon with frog fountains, a lounge area with chairs and a bathhouse, as well as the 7,900 square foot Vistas Community Center. And that is adjacent to the Vistas Park and that hosts a variety of classes and programs for residents. And the Vistas Park is also Summerlin South Little League's second home and is the home of their girls softball program. It hosts most softball games, some baseball games and tournaments, as well as practices for 50-70 majors, AAA and AA divisions. It has two regulation Little League fields lighted for night games and practices and convertible to a 50-70, a concession building and bullpens for each field. So you can tell that Vistas Park is very important to the community. Yeah, it's large. I mean, it's real. It, yeah, it it's was a huge. Big, big park. That's why it was on our list. Mm -hmm.
And number four on our list is the Trails Park and Pool. Now this is nearly 15 acres located in the Trails Village and is part of Summerlin North at 9550 Trail Center Drive. Now this park features a lighted baseball field, two lighted softball fields, a concession building, two children's play areas, a splash pad, a meadow area, full-size basketball court, picnic tables, and community restrooms. The Trails is home to a resident-only swimming pool that features a lap pool, diving board, wading pool, and bathhouse, as well as the Trails Community Center, which is the first community center in Summerlin and hosts a variety of classes and programs for residents. The Trails Park is also the home of our interleague partner of Summerlin North Little League and hosts some interleague games and tournaments. It has two regulation Little League fields, one regulation field, which is the 60 by 6 pitching rubber and 90, uh, or 90 foot base paths, are lighted for night games and practices. It also has shaded bleacher batting cages, bullpens, and even a snack bar.
Number five on our list is the Gardens Park. And the Gardens Park is an 18-acre park located in the Gardens Village and is part of Summerlin South at 10401 Garden Park Drive. This park has a multi-sports facility that features a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, two lighted tennis courts, sand volleyball court, a skate park, a lighted bocce ball court, horseshoe and shuffleboard courts, children's play areas, large open festival lawn area, picnic pavilions, and community restrooms. Also located in the park is the Gardens Community Center that hosts a variety of classes and programs for residents. I like this park because of it's a very linear park and it was fun to drone because you can go from one end to the other, the other end to the other end, and you can see the whole thing. It was very cool. Very long. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was a very nice park. Number six on our list is the Mesa Park. Now the Mesa Park is a 19 acre park located in the Mesa Village and is part of Summerlin South at 5401 Mesa Park Drive. And this opened in 2004. This park features beautiful mountain views with large open play areas, two lighted tennis courts, three lighted softball baseball fields, concession building, a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, tot lot, playground, barbecue areas, covered picnic ramadas, and community restrooms. This park also ha is home to Summerlin South Little League and hosts most of the league's baseball games and tournaments, as well as practices for the majors, AAA, and AA divisions. It has three regulation Little League fields, all lighted for night games and practices, and one with stadium seating, a snack bar, and the league's batting cages. Yeah, this one is very nice. I like the views of the backdrop of this one, oh. of the Spring Mountain Range, um, and just getting in there, it just has a different vibe and energy to it. Thank you. 
Number eight on our list is the Arbors Tennis and Play Park. And the Arbors Tennis and Play Park is located in the Arbors Village and is part of Summerlin North at 610 Sageberry Drive. And this one opened in 2003. This park features five outdoor lighted tennis courts, including a stadium court, a pro shop, and a full-time tennis instructor. The Arbors Tennis and Play Park is also home to Summerlin's youth and adult tennis programs. This park also features a unique custom-built tricycle track for toddler sets within Arborville Picnic Pavilion. It's a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, and they even have an open play areas. Yeah, that's a, it's a cute little park, I think. I like how it's set up. And number nine on our list is Stonebridge Park. Which is an 11 acre park located in Stonebridge Village and is part of Summerlin West at 860 Crossbridge Road. This park opened in the spring of 2021 and includes lighted soccer fields, a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, an exercise area, four lighted pickleball courts, cornhole court, playground lawn, shaded picnic areas, community restrooms, and connectivity to the Summerlin Trail systems. Yeah, and the reason Stonebridge Park made the list is because it is one of the newer parks in the Stonebridge Village, and I like all the, you know, the pickleball courts. It's very nice and clean. And I'm noticing there's a lot of soccer fields in Summerlin as well, not only just baseball fields, but they have soccer fields. So it's nice mm -hmm. that it caters to the both types of sports and the basketball courts and the tennis courts, you name it, we got it. Yeah, and it's surprising <laughs> how many people are actually using these places as well. So when yeah, every time we go things. out there, it's, it's very full. Mm -hmm.
10 on our list is the Paseos Park. And the Paseos Park is a 12.5 acre park located in the Paseos Village and is part of Summerlin West at 12122 Desert Moon Road. And this one opened in 2003. This community park includes a junior soccer t-ball field, a lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, a sand volleyball court, an interactive play area, playground, motorized toy area, picnic pavilions, and open grass areas. Now, since this park is located in the middle of the Paseos Village, it can be reached by a linear park that traverses the village from north to south. That's very cool. Mm -hmm.
you can see, there are tons of parks in Summerlin. These are just the top 10. There are about 30 regional main parks in Summerlin, not including the 300 other parks are within each neighborhood. Um, stay tuned. Uh, pretty soon, over there in the Red Point Square Village and Red Point Village, they will be posting or will be having new parks opening up soon, mm -hmm. like the Ridge Pine or Ridge Line Park just recently oh, opened yeah. up. They're it's moving very fast. small, mm -hmm. but then they're going to have one that's very linear that runs along between Red Point Square and Red Point Village. Um, the goal for these videos is to educate you on all the amenities that Summerlin has to offer. Not only is it an awesome place to live, but there's so many things for you and your family can enjoy here in this community. Yeah. Yeah. I We have done a video on activities you can do with kids in Summerlin. We've done videos on ballparks in Summerlin. Mm -hmm. So you name it, Summerlin has it all for all age ranges, not just families, but also retirees. So if you want to learn more about Summerlin, you need to like, but most importantly, subscribe to my channel and Reach out to me and call me at 702-370-5112. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next video tour.